<clears throat> so yeah, um, I think there's some uh, other stuff, music I like, uh, music that I like, um, Sting, he's a big influence, I don't know, it's like, it was an influence, it's like when I first started to songwrite, I just kind of started to songwrite, but I mean, I didn't know how to song, songwrite, because no one really teaches you, most people who songwrite don't really go to some school or class to learn to songwrite, you just kind of start doing it, you kind of learn other people's songs, and you kind of do your own thing, or you kind of, you know, learn, you start to sing from hearing other people sing, you know, like, people that you listen to, that you love, you know, music that you like, so, I mean, so, you know, and you kind of go, oh, maybe that's how you write a song, so uh, what I was listening to was, like, Sting and McCartney and, and Elvis Costello, so that's how the stuff, I was, I don't know if I was influenced, but I'm sure I was. Yeah, it's like that. No, I think that's how you kind of figure out who you're influenced by, by who you like. And then you kind of, you know, or who you want to do, write like, you know, like a song like. So I would say like Sting, Paul, I was Costello. Because I mean, I remember Sting, I mean, I love his lyrics. He's kind of very poetic. And he writes his very kind of very kind of like, um, you know, about something. He always writes about something, something deep. But it always sounds very, I like a poem, you know, and he doesn't, you know, he sounds like a, he has a very poetic way of, um, you know, writing a song about something political. <laughs> you know, I love, I love that. He kind of whirls it around his little, uh, you know, his, his melodies and stuff. So I always liked that about Sting. Uh, and he's had a number of like kind of protest songs like Invisible Sun about Northern Ireland and stuff and how people are living up there at that time in the seven in the late seventies and that's when the IRA starts going and then he got his songs about um Chile and Pinochet was this dictator in Chile and only, he wouldn't let people put I mean it, people would get their the kids kidnapped or killed and something, and then the only form of protest that these people could do was just dancing by themselves, and qu you know, quiet, quietly. And it's called they dance alone. It's about that, and you know, or uh, the Russians about you know the, the Cold War. Or we worked the black scene together, you know. For, on his first album, the you know, Blue Turtle was you know about, you know, I think it's about nuclear nuclear energy. You know, mining instead of mining for coal, using nuclear energy. Is it safe? You know, we have to dig for like uranium or whatever, or whatever we use to power all these power plants. But yeah, um, without dangers, it is, and especially in the wake of Chernobyl at the time. Or uh, what else? <coughs> no, it's hard. Yeah. You know, it's sort of like history will teach us nothing, or or you know. Um, Kind of songs are, um, you know, fragile, how fragile we are as a species. All that kind of stuff. He always wrote about something. So I always like sting about for that, you know, especially his lyrics and his singing. And then, you know, Elvis Costello also, I like for his lyrics, but he was a different kind of writer, more always. He was kind of more, you know, not, not so poetic, but more of a wordplay, comedic. <laughs> not really funny, but comedic. You know, I mean, like more satire, satirical kind of lyrics. And then, you know, yeah. <clears throat> and then you got like Roger Waters, which is like with the Pink Floyd stuff, especially the stuff in the 70s, from Dark Side of the Moon to, to the Wall. You know, very kind of dark about man's inside, you know, a lot about, um, um, you know, because, you know, Sid Barrett is a member of Pink Floyd and he had uh, schizophrenia, so I think that affected a lot of Roger Waters' writing, you know, during that time, so, but, yeah, 